uh, we can hopefully now go live to Bertrand Picard, the pilot who is uh, getting ready. Bertrand, can you hear me? Yes, I read you fire. Good, good morning, good morning to everybody. Good morning, Good morning to you, Bertrand. Uh, you, of course, will be the pilot today to take off from Madrid towards Toulouse. And uh, tell me, what kind of weather conditions are you expecting? Uh, we're having a little bit of uh, headwind on the runway, which is fine. And during the flight, according to Luke and Tim, uh, we should not have more than 10 to 15 knots in altitude. So it should be relatively calm. And... Uh, Right here this morning, uh, it's beautiful view. Uh, the night is completely dark. There is absolutely no moon. I'm sitting in the cockpit, and in front of me, there are all the runway lights of runway 36 from Madrid. So the, the view is really fine. Right. Just look forward to put all the power and take off. Now, now Bertrand, you've, you've really put, put this airplane through its paces. It is just a prototype airplane, but you've uh, flown backwards in this airplane. I think the only thing you haven't done now is flip it upside down. Uh, this time around, will it be fairly straightforward? <laughs> I hope I will not fly it upside down, because it's really not made for this. And probably today there will not be any backward flight, but maybe tomorrow. It's not impossible that tomorrow... Uh, Flying from Toulouse to uh, Payerne, uh, there will be some uh, quite high winds. So the, the jet streams that I used to take with the balloons to fly around the world are not so favorable to, to the solar impulse. But uh, with the and Vim, I think everything will be perfect. And uh, will you be crossing around the Basque country? The Basque country, a very popular tourist destination at this time of year. We had really interesting weather conditions. Uh, we had the uh, weather from Switzerland, we had the weather from Madrid, we had the difference of weather across Gibraltar, then we were in Morocco, Trapa, then Andre was flying to, to Wazaza, to the desert, with the thermals, with the mountain waves of the Atlas. So it, it was really a good training for everybody. And tomorrow evening, if everything goes well, arriving to Bayern, the airplane would have made six thousand kilometers uh, in six weeks, so I think it's really a success, success also for this airplane. Uh, uh, I think for all this, of course, has built it. Uh, this I think airplane has flown over five thousand kilometers in all. Uh, you must be very excited about uh, nearing the end of this epic journey. I was not looking so much forward to the end of the journey because this journey was fabulous. You know, with this airplane, the goal is not to go from one point to the other. The goal is to, to fly as long as we wish. It is to meet as many people as possible, promote renewable energies, uh, ambitious energy policies. So all this has been so successful. I'm sure when the airplane will land in Ayam tomorrow, there will be a little bit of, of nostalgia because all the team has been working for, for months to prepare it. So when it will be over, I'm sure everybody will have a, like a heavy heart, of course, relief, because it will be a success if everything goes well today and tomorrow. But nevertheless, a little bit of nostalgia. Well, well, we'll be very excited to see you. Uh, have a great flight, and we will, of course, uh, keep in touch with you right until you arrive in Toulouse this evening. Yes, absolutely. I believe today we should have some uh, interesting uh, conversations with uh, two of our patrons. Uh, that means uh, James Cameron and uh, Paolo Coelho are going to be in touch with, with you and with the airplane. So it's going to be, be really nice. I think also for all the supporters, we're going to follow the flight line.